Welcome to another ghost town exploration here in the southern United States. Today we're checking out a very old ghost town, actually the oldest, at least the oldest ghost town that was left abandoned as far as how old it is, how old it was a ghost town. Today we're in the city of Union Level. This is a horse and carriage city and after the railroad boom happened there was a single railroad line that ran through here but basically the place was abandoned by the early 1900s. This place did not adapt to modern times and everything's left abandoned here. People really started coming here in 1765. That's when it was completely tobacco fields. And the tobacco sales in Union Level made the economy boom. And those tobacco sales primarily boom because of enslaved people working on the nearby plantations. By the 1800s, this would be a very popular horse and carriage line. Travelers needed accommodations and supplies, so stores began to pop up. Come the 1860s and the Civil War, things would change a lot in Union Level. When the Civil War ended and slavery did also, Things changed a lot here. Investors offered union level farmers to buy their land for tobacco warehouses, forcing tobacco sellers to move elsewhere during this period and forcing the economy to go down with it. Come the early 1900s, the town had a second resurgence. There was more than 20 businesses, including four general stores, two barbers, one pharmacy, a boarding house, a railroad depot, a dance hall, and a motorcycle dealer. It also had a bank the Bank of Union Level, which was established by A.F. Dumright, Ashley Thompson, and Cornelius C.P. Jones in 1915. When the Great Depression hit in the 1930s, one of the first casualties was C.P. Jones Bank and the general store. Other stores, the barbershop, boarding house, would have to close too, except for a handful of businesses that survived until the 1970s. But by then, the town would never look the same. No more humans left in this ghost town, but we have some cats. Somebody's coming here and feeding them. We have many businesses that line this downtown area. C.P. Jones. Gotta love all the old wood. And the detail put into this place, like this, the porch here, and the beams that are supporting it, the woodwork is amazing. We have this one that's wide open. We have a lot of stuff left behind, it looks like, too. I see a, quite a bit of furniture and all these rope and all these stores. So we're gonna jump inside this one here and maybe we could find some things, maybe we can't. But I mean, look at this place. The road is completely out of control. We have weeds growing through the sidewalk, completely covering this one sprawling little place here. Got a lot of beer left behind. Whoa, basically I just fell through the floor, my first step in the house. That's not great. I'll walk a little bit in. Got an old mattress here. Nice woodwork. A lot of children's clothes on the ground, but a lot of these children's clothes are actually hiding enormous holes in the ground. And um, it's not much in here, so we're gonna walk out. Not sure when some of these businesses did close, but it looks like some of the things in here are kind of modern, maybe to like the 90s, the 80s maybe, 70s even. Got 
creepy little alleyway. We're gonna check out the back of this place a little later. Not much going on in here. A lot of things thrown around. Some random wood. Got some old lights on the ceiling. Some of which I see in old psychiatric hospitals. So these date back to like the mid-century. At least. It's super creepy. I love I love walking around this town right now through all this high grass. And this building looks like it's completely collapsing. Yeah. Got the roof caving in over here. But I got like a yearbook right here. That's super cool find here. Activities. Freshman. I'm trying to find a year here. It looks so old. Duke University. 1938. Wow. Cool find. Got an old baby crib here. Down here amongst the clutter, we have an old pool table. Barely noticeable. But I love that vintage green around the trim. Beautiful old building. The white paint, green ceilings, the woodwork here. Dates back a hundred years. All these buildings are very beautiful. This is a pretty old Stuart Warner radio. You could see, you could listen to the foreign radio, police radio, standard broadcast. Pretty old in here. Back here it looks like we have like a washer, Kenmore washer. Ooh. We got a typewriter too. That's a really old one. These buildings have had no preservation effort whatsoever. Used to have a sign up here, but I believe this was the auto workshop. And next to it, we have the gas station. We actually still have a very old pump still left here. Let's take a look inside the uh, gas station here. Got some random like motor oils here on the shelves. Got some more rusted cans over there. Across the street from the main town, we even have like an abandoned trailer home. Door wide open, plywood on the windows, but maybe it's not even abandoned. You really don't know in the south. People live in some pretty crazy conditions here. But we're gonna take another walk down Main Street here at Union Level, Virginia. And we're gonna maybe jump into the alleyways, see if we can go into some of the places from the back, get a better idea of how the people here lived.
This portion of today's video is sponsored by Michael Schwartz and the people behind the Abandoned Atlas Foundation. I've teamed up with them to promote their film, Forever Majestic, an abandoned hotel that has gone through many years of different stages, neglect, city corruption, and they've documented it perfectly. Here's the trailer. If you want to see more of this or the team, please check out the description as all their links are provided. Thank you for the Abandoned Atlas Foundation for promoting today's video. What is it that makes your city worth living in? It's your city's history. It's the soul. It's the culture. My name is Michael Schwartz. My friends and I love exploring and documenting abandoned buildings to tell their stories. And the Majestic Hotel in Hot Springs, Arkansas, was something that fascinated us from the moment we walked in. Majestic was one of the great hotels in the South. It was this huge, sprawling complex full of restaurants, drugstores, a bathhouse. When this place captured my soul, I wanted to help somehow. And that's when I met Brenda. Maybe there's a way I can form a movement to actually restore that hotel and save it. Historic Majestic Hotel is in some seriously bad shape. It shouldn't have been allowed to get that way. That's called demolition by neglect. If you allow a roof to be compromised, you're, you're sentencing that building to death. This place is burning to the ground. Turning this beacon into a den of ashes. The red brick was spared from this fire. After the fire, people from all across the state wanted to make sure Hot Springs history would be protected. What you have there is a building that needs a champion. It was pretty obvious the fire did not start internal to the building, and that seems really strange. The city's plan is to wipe this out. We need to polish it. We need to bring it back. All of the department heads had been banking on getting that property and demolishing it. I want to see it gone. This city has been mafia for years, and if you're not in that loop, you're not welcome. I will not prohibit them from having a voice. Well, some of us want to watch NCIS. <laughs> consumed by the history that is in this city. Could the Majestic Hotel be saved? All right, time to go into this creepy alleyway. Ooh, a frog. That startled me. Hey, froggy. Jumped into that, that vent there. We got a bunch of phones here. People stealing some phones and dumping them off here. Okay, now we're in the back. It is pretty creepy back here. This is a really nice old uh, glass bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some like imprints, designs actually in here, in the glass. Looks a little sketchy, but let's, uh, let's check it out. Got this old dresser here. It's beautiful. Wow. So it looks like we have a room here, a bedroom. The bed is completely sinking into the floor. We have a nice old bed here inside this one house. Oh, this is actually the one we were already inside of. I just didn't recognize it from this other angle. Oof, got some sp big spiders guarding these back alleys here. I have to go around here. We have to look into this building that is almost entirely demolished. Oh, this is insane. So, we have this old cabinet here. Almost looks like it has a Freemason logo on the side of this thing. So that's pretty interesting, but we have this 
once grand, I'm sure, general store. You could see the testament of time on these showcase shelves here. Beautiful natural decay occurring in this room. We actually have a new environment growing. Complete jungle of what this place once was. Unlike other ghost towns that I've been to, a lot of them have been repurposed, fixed, revitalized. Some efforts of restoration have happened to a lot of the ghost towns that I've visited. This is one of the only ghost towns that is completely untouched by time, over a hundred years. Even though it can't get inside, what we can see from this doorway is very impressive. And we have a lot more buildings and little huts to go inside, and I'm excited to see what else we could find, honestly. So in the back of this general store is what I really think it is. We have this storage. Oh man, the wood in here is so rotted. We have a storage bin here. It looks like we have a newspaper stand right here. A couple of them, in fact, one right there. We have a magazine. We also have a fashion magazine left. JC Pennies. Standing on the doorway, this place is very messed up. I mean, a hundred years to these old structures have not held up well, but we have a bunch of old magazines that litter this entire storage space. Maybe we can get a better view from that door, but this looks like to be the old storage bin for this general store. I'm sure if you had a metal detector you could find some really amazing stuff in this old town. You got the windows all barred off to this this building. It's pretty cool. Maybe that makes that a bank or something. Pretty sure that was the JP Chase building. Here we have an old barn. Torn up. Not much left behind. Got a random dog here. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Nothing like some ghost town dogs. Hi, buddy. He's a nice boy. Hi, buddy. Is he wild? He doesn't have a doesn't have a anything. Should we help him? Do we have a bowl? We could leave some water. Mm -mm. He looks like he's limping a bit. So we're gonna give this dog a little bit of water. I think it might be a neighbor's. I saw a neighbor walking with a dog before. Maybe he just comes back at night. Hey buddy, come here. Want some water? There you go. He looks really skinny, so. Oh, well, there goes the rest of the water. But uh, yeah, he drank it. He wasn't that thirsty. He's so cute, though. Got the park. Got to dip. Yeah, And there he goes. Yeah, I mean, he, he came down the road by himself. We have this ghost town yard sale, and on top of the place, it says, Welcome to Union Level VA, the most photographed ghost town in Virginia. 
careful on your visit. Ghosts walk here at night. Pretty cool though, we have a collection of just random antiques here. Probably left in some of the buildings. They have it just lined out here on the porch. I'm sure nothing of great value considering. Probably would have been stolen. What is this? Despite only able to get into a handful of buildings here, I saw enough history to make me even more interested in this location. It's just very sad how this square, this, these beautiful old hundred year old buildings had to fall to this fate because they're really just all sitting here with no purpose in the world anymore, just dilapidating, falling apart. They're really just gonna demolish themselves. And this era of American history will be just erased. It'll just erase itself. So I'm thankful I was able to come here, explore this place with my own eyes, because it was a really good time. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this explore also. And that's gonna do it. Peace out guys, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.